Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nexus Performance YouTube channel. Today, I have a topic for you that I think is rather important for a lot of lifters as it's something that freaks a lot of people out. And it's that very brief space during a prep where you feel like absolute crap. I call it the six week out blues. It's that short period where you know you should feel strong, but you really just don't. Today, I'm gonna to explain why that is, why that happens, and all the nitty gritty that goes into a peak and taper. So, to explain why the six week out blues is a thing, first you need to understand the phases of accumulation, tapering, and peaking, which are just some general terms to explain what's going on during a powerlifting prep. So generally from about 12 weeks out is when you consider the prep has begun. And during that time, you dedicate the first probably six to eight weeks to building up a very large quality amount of volume and load to get you stronger. This is what you'd call the accumulation phase and it can end around seven to four weeks out depending on the person and how strong they are. But during this phase, this is where you're actively getting stronger. You're adding load, you're adding volume each week and you use that to drive quality adaptations to make you a better athlete. Once that phase completes, you begin the taper. And all the taper is, is slowly tapering off your fatigue levels so you can actually express the skills and the strength which you have built up during your accumulation phase. Once the taper comes to an end, then you're peaked because your fatigue has dropped off, you can express the skill of a one rep max and show the platform what you've got. So now we know what these phases are and what it all looks like, this is where the six week out blues comes in. There's a brief period between the end of your accumulation phase and the start of your taper where fatigue is as high as it's possibly going to be. During this space and time, you can't express the skills that you've developed and you just feel like an absolute garbage trash fire. The reason for that is your fatigue is so high it is masking the skill and the fitness that you have developed. This is why there's a period during your prep where everything feels terrible. And for some people, it lasts for a long time. For others, it doesn't last long at all. Due to peaking being such an individual thing, it's different for everyone. But the main takeaway is when you're looking at that very brief period where everything feels terrible, just remember that it's normal because you have peaked your fatigue due to all the hard work you've done in your prep and you haven't given your body time yet to catch up and recover so you can show what you've built. So as your taper begins and you begin to drop a lot of that fatigue, the term that we're searching for at the end of this is something called supercompensation. And all supercompensation means is because your fatigue is now dropped off, you can express all the things that were covered with that fatigue before. Imagine your totals covered in a bunch of dirt. That dirt is fatigue. As you taper and you brush the dirt off, you're able to express more and more of the skills that you actually have. So when we're searching for that supercompensation, that doesn't happen until we have effectively dropped enough fatigue to allow that expression. As for many things, a one rep max is a skill. And for those skills, fatigue is such a heavy masker of them that you can't expect to be performing at your best when fatigue is so high. This is why when some people panic during their prep and they try and push things a little bit too hard, a little bit too early when they haven't fully recovered, sure, you may miss a rep here or there. But if it's during that phase where you're trying to drop fatigue and you haven't been responsible with the weight jumps you've been taking or you got a bit carried away, it makes sense. And it's not an accurate depiction of how strong you are. It's an accurate depiction of what you can express at that point in time. An important thing to remember is when this time period shows up and you feel like crap and something may go wrong here and there is to not panic. As soon as you start to panic and think, oh, something small has gone wrong in my prep and you begin to fall down that downward spiral of darkness and despair, which leads to you doubting your abilities, understand that it's completely normal to not feel your best during a prep. As powerlifters, where it's important for us to be strong is on the platform. That's where it counts. Nobody cares how much you squatted when you were three or four weeks out. Some people may have peaked a bit too early and that does show on the platform. Your job is to tailor your expectations during your prep. Think, what actions can I take now that will directly benefit me on the platform the best? Don't push things too hard. Don't get overzealous with picking your attempts during the preparation phase. Think about setting yourself up for success on the platform because that is where it counts. 
Thank you so much for watching guys. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you like this content. And please, I would love if you would be able to go down to the comment section and share your stories of when something has gone wrong during a prep. What have been your biggest mistakes? What have been your biggest mess ups? And how did you come back from that on competition day?